National travelers are now going to have some stricter rules to enter the United States. News 12's Noel Lilly joins us now from JFK Airport to tell us what these changes mean for us here at home and what travelers are saying about it tonight. Noel. Kurt, travelers we spoke to say you'd better plan ahead if you're coming to the U.S. under these new rules, which require travelers to have a negative COVID test taken just one day from their departure time. Under the previous rules, they had up to 72 hours. These new rules from the Biden administration going into effect today, and they apply to U.S. citizens, anyone over the age of two years old, and people who are fully vaccinated. Now, once you get to the country, you're not required to test again or to quarantine. This move is coming after the U.S. banned travel altogether from seven African countries, including South Africa, where the Omicron variant was first detected. Multiple travelers we spoke to today tell us they almost got stuck abroad because they weren't aware of the new travel rules. It was a hassle mainly for us because we flew in from um, Milan and a lot of the things are closed on Sundays in Italy. So we had to get up at like 6 a.m. to like wait outside of a um, pharmacy. I didn't know about the one day COVID test requirement, so I had one from like two days ago and I had to reschedule the flight. Now, luckily, those folks were able, as you can see, to make it back to the U.S. and get that negative COVID test in time. But just something to keep in mind for folks at home who are planning to travel abroad in the coming months. Now, for people who are U.S. citizens and in a country on one of those seven banned countries list, what they can do, they're still able to come back to the U.S., but they are also required to have that negative COVID test at JFK. Noelle Lilly, News 12. A lot of regulations during this busy travel season. Noelle, thank you so much.